Good morning. In today's class, we are going to see how to use Log4j in our Java project. What exactly is Log4j? Log4j is an open source Apache framework that helps us to store log information on storage medium in a readable format. In how many ways can we log our information? Using two files, we can log our information. The first one is log4j.properties file. The second one is log4j.xml file. When the, both the files have been used in our project, our project use log4j.xml will be given the high precedence. These two files are majorly used to configure logs to be generated. What are the useful components in log4j? In log4j, we have three separate classes. Logger class, Appender class, Layout class. Logger class will be used to send its log information to a log file. That can be a console, that can be a Appender file. Appender class writes the logs in a notepad and appends it sub sequentially in a file. Layout class. Layout class helps us in which pattern, which type of pattern that can be used to place the log information. Finally, what are the various levels of logging? There are five levels of logging. The first one is debugging, information, warning, error, pattern. These are the five categories of log information that can be generated using log4j. With this particular information, let us see how to create a project using log4j. For that, open your Eclipse IDE, go to File, Create New Maven Project, go to Other, Type Maven. Select your Maven Project, click on Next. Create a simple project, click on next. It will be asking for your group ID, com.klu, artifact ID. Artifact ID is nothing but your project name to be specified, sample log 4j4. Because already I have a project, click on finish. With this particular information, it is going to create a project. And this is your project. Let it is going to create your project structure. Yes, it has created your project structure. Now, after creating of your project structure, what is the second thing that you have to do? You have to add its corresponding log4j dependency to the project because it is a separate framework. For that particular thing, go to Google Chrome, type Maven log4j dependency and you will be getting this particular URL. Click on that particular thing and this is what your corresponding log4j dependency code. Copy that particular thing, go back to your Eclipse IDE, open form.xml, in your form.xml, add your corresponding dependency, add one tag to it, this particular thing, dependencies within that particular dependencies paste your code save your thing now with this particular three lines of code your maven project will connect to mvn repository and add this particular log4j.jar file to your project see here previously this particular file was not there but right now you have downloaded this particular log4j file this will be done by your Maven repository. You no need to do that particular thing. 
you the only thing that you have to do is add your corresponding dependency code to your pom.xml second thing what is the second thing that you have to do add log 4 properties file to your resources this is a major file for log 4j for that particular thing i have already created this particular log 4j dot properties for that this is your log 4j dot properties i will show you just copy that particular file and open your eclipse ide copy that particular thing to src slash main slash resources and paste that particular file i'll show you what it is see log 4j dot properties this is the major configure configuration file of where your log information has to be saved see this is your log 4j dot properties file in your log 4j dot properties file we have root logger class in your root logger class we have to specify what kind of log information has to be generated and where it has to be generated either it has to be in a file or it has to be on your console if you have to specify in both the locations you have to write both for that particular thing in your log 4j dot appender dot file this particular thing you will be having this particular thing in your jre system library i will show that particular thing to you log 4j dot jar in log 4j dot jar you have org dot apache dot log 4j in which you will be having this particular class what is this particular class known as rolling file appender this is where you you will be finding rolling file appender this is what the class in this particular class what is the thing that you have to specify is where should your log information be stored so for that particular thing i am going to create a dot log file for that particular thing i am going to go to the downloads and i have created logging dot log file this is what the file that i have created logging dot log file okay and this has been uh, saved in your downloads folder so for that particular thing copy your uh, url where you have site uh, where you have uh, stored your file and paste that particular thing in your uh, here okay after this what should be the size of your file i have given it as 10 mb after that what kind of information what kind of patterns has to be stored in your logging dot log file so this is also available in your log 4j uh, org dot apache dot pattern layout you can find that particular class here also in your pattern layout see here there are various symbols that have been used we have to know what kind of symbols are these see here in this particular thing percentage d has been used percentage d will be used to output the date of the logging event this particular event i am going to specify in this particular pattern means four y's two m's two d's two hours minutes and seconds this is the format this is the pattern where i wanted to log my information now what is this p p is used to output the priority of logging event what is this logs percentage c c is basically used to category to specify the category of logging event then what is this percentage l percentage l is basically used to find out the line number from where the login request was issued then what is this m m is basically used to output the method name where the login request was raised so in this way we are going to store your logger information with this particular pattern in logging.log file 
all this will be done using rolling file appender class second all this particular thing will be used to store all your log information in a file text file known as logging.log suppose if you wanted to store all your logging information log logger information in a console now we have a separate class for that we have a class known as org.apache.log4j.console appender this particular class will also be available in your jar in your corresponding jar file so console appender in your console appender we store all your information in your console for that i am giving it as system.out similarly what kind of pattern do you need for that particular thing i am going to use a class known as pattern layout i'm using the same pattern of what to be written in your console too so you need to you need to know only the two informations one is what kind of log information has to be generated has to be specified to your root logger and where this particular logger information has to be stored this your information has to be stored in your file if, we, if this particular information has to be stored in your file you have to use rolling file appender class and if you wanted to store your information in console you have to go for console appender class and which kind of pattern has to be used can be used by pattern layout class with this particular information i am going to use your log4j dot properties i have configured how to log my information in both the ways that is either storing your information in a file or i'm going to store your information in your console okay save your code after this particular thing the thing that you have to do is just go to your src slash main slash java and create a class let us try to create com dot klu within this particular package i am going to create a class new class so sample demo is the class i wanted to create and this particular thing requires a main method because i wanted to console uh, i want to print my log information in a console so click on finish it is going to create a file for you so in this particular uh, class i wanted to log the information how can we log this particular information for that particular thing i have a class known as logger class and this particular logger class is final okay so before main i am going to declare so i am using static final logger for logger class create an instance logger equal to logger dot you have a method known as get logger get logger class get logger class for this particular get logger class we have to pass a parameter what is the parameter that we have to pass from which particular whatever the class that you have created its dot class file has to be created pass as a parameter to your logger class so what is the class that you have created the class that you have created is sample demo so its corresponding dot class file has to be passed as a parameter okay so after passing of this particular information now the thing that you have to do is with this particular logger object you have to call a method known as log dot debug and we have to pass your general information sample debug with this particular object we can call logger dot information message to you can pass your own message sample information message
with the same object I'm going to call information dot one method two. you can pass your own message to sample warning message logger dot what is the last level of message error message if you wanted to print an error message that can also be done sample error and finally what is the last level logger dot fatal method sample fatal save your program now run try to run your program right click on it run as java application so your logger information has been generated in the console see here this is the what the pattern what we have specified in your log4j dot properties file see here what what is the timestamp that we have used four y's two m's two d's two h's two m's and two s's see here 2020 month date hours minutes and uh, seconds it is showing your uh, timestamp too what is this uh, specified for percentage p percentage p is used to give priority to your uh, logging event and what is this particular percentage c percentage c is used to display your method name what is the method that you have displayed sample dot one one debug information one error fatal what is the last one percentage l percentage l is nothing but your line number so 10 so your debug information has been proposed in your debug information has been proposed in your line number 10 so if you want the information information was specified in line number 11 warning message has been specified in your line number 12 error message has been generated in line number 13 so this is not only a type where you can log your information on console but you have uh, given uh, information to be stored in your uh, a new file known as logging.log let us see whether this particular information has been stored in that particular file or not so for that open your logging.log file i think uh, all the previous uh, log information was also stored let us see with the timestamp so what is the timestamp that we have seen 2020 this is what our latest uh, information that we have uh, created our logs so we have created our log information in the file and we have created our log information in the console too this is how we can produce our logs in using log4j thank you for watching this particular video thank you